Sí. There is no other woman more important to the doctor than his very own wife. And in Husbands of River Song, we see the return of the amazing river. Spoils. And with River's reappearance, that also means the return of the most dazzling wit in the doctor's entire timeline. What kind of doctor are you? Archaeology.
I'm Melody. I'm your daughter. This shocking revelation was kept as a huge secret, even from the cast and crew. For the first take, there was an audible sort of... <gasps> um, that was fantastic. It was great. I think Karen and Arthur, it took a little bit of sort of getting their heads around that they were actually... Actually, my parents. Uh, but um, I think it was kind of, it was really cool. It was really cool. There's another shock in Let's Kill Hitler. Here I finally am as Mel's, just before I regenerated into Riversong. <gasps> <gasps> yes, it turns out she has Time Lord abilities as well. River was conceived in the Time Vortex, in the TARDIS. And this is allowed some element of Time Lord DNA, which is a result of the untempered schism, in, into her. So there is, there's a bit of Time Lord, a bit of TARDIS in that woman. She's not exactly like us. Let's not forget River's diary. You can guarantee with every appearance of River, her iconic book is never far away. She will be amazing. Given to her by the Doctor. This is an essential part of their relationship. As an entirely practical point, if you knew another time traveller, you'd have to have a you'd have to have a very good note keeping system. Because that you know, you would never be quite in sequence. Right then. Where are we? Have we done Easter Island yet? Um Yes, I've got Easter Island. Whenever she meets the doctor, they compare notes. Uh and she is able to um tell where they are in terms of their timelines. It's actually very practical. Uh, everybody should have one. <laughs> this relationship is taken to a whole new level in the wedding of Riversong. Then you may kiss the bride. I'll make it a good one. You better. From the highs of tying a knot to the moving moments during River's last appearance. I believe I could have coped. No. I thought it would hurt me. Then I was right. The emotive goodbye to the 11th Doctor seemed to complete River's story. There were tears both on and off camera. When we shot the last scene with the Doctor and River, I got quite upset. If this is my goodbye, if this is the last time that I'm ever going to be involved in this, in this world, in this show, then I need a little bit more time to get my head around it and I need a little more time to say goodbye but there was no time so literally we did it in one take and that was it goodbye sweetie but no one can stop Riversong she is back in true brilliant style in the husbands of Riversong River! so there will be new adventures new relationships, and the first meeting of the 12th Doctor and his wife. Let the adventures begin. The Doctor's an all-new man, he has been for a while, and he may have slipped his mind out there in a very tangled, complicated way, is his wife. The episode that Stephen has written is genius, actually. There's fabulous comedy, and as usual, I have fantastic lines. I've already picked out your swimwear. Okay, but be careful. <laughs> Absolutely not. You're, we're about to stand with the doctor and see what River is like when she doesn't know he's looking. And we're about to see what River thinks of Matt Smith turning into Peter Capaldi. Here we go. <laughs> 